Just Drinking proudly presents Bacardi on Yeho or possibly Anejo. We're not really sure. Don't know. <laughs> Obviously, our Spanish speaking skills are not very good. They're non-existent. Like zero. Now it's <laughs> on my bucket list to learn Spanish. However, I have not started that task, and I have no idea how you're actually supposed to pronounce this. I would appreciate somebody letting me oh, know. Yeah. Give us a I feedback no on this one. We we actually found this rum when we were in the Bahamas. Okay. Okay. In Cosmel. <laughs> no, actually. No, the, actually, the, you the, were in Cosmel. The, this bottle we we bought in Cosmel. Mexico. I know you did, because there's a sticker <laughs> on the side that says Carnival Cosmel 2019. Okay, but when we found the rum, we found it when we were in the Bahamas. Oh. We, were, we were actually at the Great Cliff, which is a place where uh, some of the James Bond films have actually been produced and, and filmed some scenes there, that sort of thing. The gal gave me a shot of it, and it was awesome. You know, I, I just, I fell in love with it. Okay. So we ended up bringing like five bottles back with us from the Bahamas. Seems reasonable. Uh, they're all gone. So when we were in Cozumel, we, we found it there. But back to the name. So I've heard this pronounced Añejo and Anejo. Both when we Nobody were... Nobody actually knows. That's yeah. the big Bacardi so secret. It's actually bottled in Mexico. Okay. Okay. Uh, however, it does... It, it's... The Bacardi name on this is, was established in 1862, Santiago, Cuba. Okay, so that anybody that knows their history on Bacardi, that's actually where they originated from was Cuba. Um, but this was this this product is actually bottled in in Mexico with this particular bottle. This particular one. This particular one. None of the others have we had trouble with. But this particular bottle... <laughs> Royer broke it. Yeah, well, something happened. Royer broke so, it. Something happened along the way, and it doesn't pour out like a shit. Yeah, would you like to see this bottle pour? Uh, yeah, yeah, five minutes later. There it comes. There it comes. Look at it. Oh, oh it's trying. It, it's trying really hard. It's going to get there. <laughs> it, so while we're waiting for shots to pour, <laughs> because Lord knows how long this is going to take us, we'll just talk about something that interests you. <laughs> Man, you know, I've always I like the palm tree, but I've always thought we could upgrade to a like an umbrella or well, something. Well, I want to get a parrot. It's a good idea. I want to get a parrot and put it in the tree. I like the idea of a Not parrot. Not a real parrot, though. Well, no, because no, I don't like birds. Yeah, well, you don't like birds. Birds bother me. They're they loud. bother you. They're loud. Why do birds bother you? They're loud. That's a thing. Yeah, it is. Wow. There's one. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> this is so long. <laughs> So well, those fun facts are brought to you by our broken cat that took us ten minutes to pour. Thanks for sticking with us. Yeah. Thanks Smell for hanging in here. there. Now this so, is this is a spiced rum. This is a spiced rum. So this one definitely smells like it's got that spice. It's got that coloration in yep. it, the little bit darker look to it. Yep. Um, you know, so and I like that it comes in this like brownish bottle well, too because it looks like black, but it clearly comes out like that brownish color. It's a I rich like. looking bottle it is a rich looking bottle you know something you'd see in a bond movie that's right i can see that ready ready here so it does it does have a good amount of spice to it it's got a pretty good spice to it almost seems like it has like a slight <laughs> black licorice flavor in the back yeah you know i could it's very, not heavy, very faint, very super faint, faint. like i hate is, i hate black licorice. i hate black licorice too and so it's very faint yeah. but it kind of gives that hint at the end of that black it does licorice. but it's it's very just a hint i don't just, know just, just a hint of it's it. different it's different it's definitely i think that's the difference it's a spice rum with like a hint of that flavor and maybe it's not black licorice but it's something similar that kind of at the end that aftertaste yeah. is yeah. kind of what it is Let's let's mix this baby. Up. You want to mix it? I do. Let's How much time do we have today? <laughs> Here we go again. Let's, let's let's come up with some more fun facts. Shall All right, we? fun facts while we're pouring another uh, <laughs> set of shots here. What else can we think of? Well, right now it's about uh, ninety-eight degrees outside. It is hot out. It's it summertime. Hot. It's hot. I don't thank, know when thank, you're watching this video, but it's summer when we're yeah, making it. Yeah. Th thank goodness that uh, our studio is not air conditioned. Yeah. Oh, God. Because that would be a bummer. Yeah, that would, you know, be burr cold. I'm almost done with yours. 
All right, here's one. Okay. Here comes two. We're, we're going to lose viewers. Just... No, don't worry. Here's a fun fact. So, uh, like myself, The Rock is pretty similar to myself. He's pretty really? amazing, right? Yeah. Like... Like, I just you're, watched, you're both human. I, well, you're both human. Yeah, we are. Yeah, That's something we have yeah, in common. That is something you and, have very, very and well in common. We're both, That's about we're it. We're both slim and sexy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to <laughs> I like to think so. <laughs> Zach Efron did okay. Let's not paint that picture. But me and The Rock would have been way better. I mean, they might have got us mixed up because we look so much alike, but man, this is really taking a long time. Yeah, Hold on. You're both bald. We're both bald and sexy. We have our rum filled. It only took awesome. us another ten minutes. Thanks for sticking with us once again. Jeez Louise. All right, so we're gonna mix this one in. All that for that little dramatic moment. <laughs> That's amazing. Now see, this is one of my favorites. When when you mix it with Diet Coke, it, it just really enhances, and and I just enjoy the flavor of the spice. So that spice, because you like spice rum a lot. Like yes, spice I do. rum that, that is, is way, my thing. Way more your thing. Yes, it is definitely a big it, spice it is. rum. It is absolutely. You know, I, I, the the flavor on this is not harsh. It's not hard. It's not burning. It's nice and warm. To me, it's smooth, but it's got a little bit of a bite to it to let you know it's there. Uh, I like some spice rums, but I'm much more particular with spice rum. And uh, this one's just got a different flavor. I don't know if it's the black licorice thing or hey, that's in my head. Everybody's different. It's just not my thing. You know, I, I, I just, I don't really care for it very much. Uh, I like flavors. I like smoothness, um, you know, which I don't think it's not smooth. I just don't think it, I don't know, it doesn't mix like other rums that I've had that I don't really care for it very much. It's not something I would buy. And it comes <laughs> in at a 35% alcohol content. Yep. Find this bottle, buy it, test it out. Tell us how you like it. Tell us. We're curious. Who do you agree with? I'm do you actually. Agree with this Robert is actually, I think. Or Rory I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is history in the making. I think this is the first time we've really disagreed. Yeah, absolutely. We usually. I love it. Are this pretty is one close, of my favorites. And I just don't bottling. Yeah. Bottling itself, I think, is pretty good. I think they upgraded a little bit from their standard bottle. I think they did a pretty good job. I give the bottle itself uh, a 7 out of 10. Uh, I like the filter on top, minus this one because it's poop. <laughs> but they're not like that, trust me. I, I agree. 7 out of 10. You know, it's it's solid. It's a good-looking bottle. Packaging's great. I like it. Yep. So what, uh, what about on its own? Individually, on its own, yep. separated, uh, I'm going to give it a... <clears throat> Probably, be oh honest. Gosh, Come on, I know, be honest. I know. I just don't like being you mean. Know, they, I'm not they, a mean person. Cardi's not going to call you. They might. They might. <laughs> They'll call me. Anywho, <laughs> in case this is the first one they're watching, I do like a lot of other Bacardi rums, but this one itself, I'm going to give this one a four out of ten. Uh, wow. Yeah. I just don't. Seriously. I don't like it. I just don't. You're like You're kidding me. I don't like the flavor. Four. I think it's. Bad. I think it's on the. Oh, I think it's. Man. On, I think it's below five. Like five is like average. It's okay. Like it's whatever. Like way below average. This is something. Four. This is something I would probably never have on my show. Wow. Probably four out of ten. Wow. Yep. What do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna go eight out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. I, figured. I, I I I love it. I I think it's fantastic. I can, you know, if I smoke cigars, I I would. This would be a. This would be probably a rum that I would sit out back and have a cigar with. You know, I mean, th this is this this is just a nice rum. You know, I I really like it, as you can tell. Eight out of ten on its own. Mixed. Mixed. What do you think? Mixed. I think it's it worse. Oh my goodness! I actually, seriously, I actually don't like it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like, I just oh, I've wow. tried it multiple times. I've tried it. I've I just. I can't get behind it. Uh, I'm going to give it the same 4 out of 10. Uh, I think Mix, I expected it to be a little bit better. It's just not. It's not there for me. Like, it's not. Good to know because I think it's right that everybody's right to their own opinion. We're just two right. guys who like rum. Obviously, Absolutely. we usually agree. And in this case, we, do. we just don't. So what yeah, do you think with it, Mix? Uh, another solid 8. Another solid 8? Yep. Absolutely. All day long. So buy it. Try it out. Get back to us. Let us know. I'm interested in what you guys might think of this yeah. one. This is definitely a split decision, and by no means does either of our reports on this or our grading on this define this bottle of rum. It's no. obviously on your own individual yeah. taste. 
This is definitely it's just one. our opinions. You might need to take a test, taste test for yourself on this yep. one because um, we're on two different sides of the scale. Yeah, completely. Since yep. you love it so much, how much are you spending for a bottle like this? Uh, we're looking at probably about $28 to $32. $28 to $32, yep. right around the $30 price yep. point. Check your local liquor stores for that Bacardi Anejo slash Añejo, if nothing else. It's just fun to say. Get yourself a bottle and check that split decision for yourself. And if you like, for any reason, what we did, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're putting out videos weekly for you guys, because we love you guys so Just much. Just for you! And make sure that you follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Make sure you follow all our platforms. We are always putting out new stuff for you guys. We're always doing something adventurous. And trying to check these rums out for you guys. And we are just traveling the world. Traveling the world. Just for you. A.K.A. like three places typically. <laughs> we don't really get outside of the box too much. But when we do, we'll let you know. Anywho, thank you guys. We really appreciate you checking in. But make sure that you like those pages. Right, Royer, take it away. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums were harmed in the making of this video. Just one Robert. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Take care.